All right, so uh, a lot of folks have been asking, and so first I want to thank all of you that were able to tune in on Monday night. I know we had a few technical glitches. They were kind of humorous, actually, um, but uh, it, it all worked out great. We had a great number of people uh, a part of that. We had a great number of you watch afterwards just to see what all was discussed, and I, I can't thank you enough for that. Many of you filled out uh, that brief survey that we sent out as well, and so we're gracious for your input on those questions, and we've definitely taken all of that into consideration, the conversation we had, uh, the governor's um, plan, if you will, that he set out for the state, and I think that God has given us a, a great, great plan moving forward. And so today, we get to share with you our initial plan for what we would like to do moving forward. Now, keep in mind, these are our initial plans. This is absolutely what we're going to do unless something arises in the meantime. Some things that we took into consideration, big things that we took into consideration. One of them is we want all of our people, everybody, to be able to gather together whenever we come back. And I know we have many people in our church, as do many churches, that have different health risks. They are at a higher risk, in a higher risk category, if you will, for this disease. And we respect that and we want them to be a part of our church family the moment that we can meet again. And so hopefully some of these accommodations and things we're doing will allow uh, virtually everyone to be back that first Sunday that we gather together. Uh, the second thing that we considered was we, we really wanted to, to take some time. Uh, we know a lot of churches are probably going to begin meeting probably a, a week or two before us, and that's fine. We want to be extra cautious. We want to have some time to see what happens in culture around us, in our society, in our community around us, and see how things play out. So this gives us a little bit of a bumper room, a little bit of breathing space, if you will, that if we need to change things, we can, but hopefully we won't have to because we've set a great date that should work for everyone. So here is the plan. You should see it on your screen right now. The first Sunday together is going to be Sunday, May 31st at 10 a.m. And we're all going to be together. Let me explain how. We are praying for God to give us an incredible morning that morning, and we want to meet outside. We'll set up a simple little stage, if you will, underneath the uh, shelter house there. And then uh, you, just bring your com most comfortable uh, lawn chairs. We'll, we'll have some church chairs there as well. But I, I personally, I would bring my bag chair from home, um, and, and we can spread out all over the grassy area there. Uh, social distancing, not an issue. We're outside. Supposedly the sun's good for you too. And so we're just praying that God gives us a beautiful, beautiful morning to meet at 10 a.m. on that first Sunday together, Sunday, May 31st. If for some reason uh, God does not allow us that moment, there's a reason uh, because of the weather. And if the weather is an issue, we'll just meet in the way we're meeting right now. And so nothing will change if that's the case. And so Sunday, May 31st will be our first date back together on campus, but not in building yet. Um, just gathering as families spread out uh, all over the grass, plenty of room out there for us to uh, to meet and be safe um, in, in that first gathering together. And watch, if, if uh, society moves along quickly here, there may be some other plans around that, but we have to wait and see for that moment uh, a little bit later on. So just, just watch your emails, watch for videos, watch for a letter in the mail, all of those kinds of things to let you know. Our second Sunday together uh, will be the next Sunday, June 7th, which also happens to be my wife's birthday. Um, we are going to meet on June 7th. That will be our first time back in the building. We're only going to have one service at 10 a.m. Again, uh, we're going to, um, depending on what society is required at that point in time, we may be maneuvering some chairs and doing some different things in the room, but I want to tell you about one very special accommodation we're making. I mentioned earlier we have many high-risk people in our church. If you didn't know, I am one of those high-risk people. I had a kidney transplant about two and a half years ago now, so I take immunosuppressant medications, which means I am in that high-risk category as well. And so what we're going to do is we are going to set up a separate special entrance for anyone that fits into that high-risk category. Uh, they are going to have their own special room. We can easily fit um, 15, 20 people in there or more, a few more than that uh, if need be, um, and still have a good distance. But again, those people will all be people that have taken this serious the whole time and have social distanced very well and uh, have, have stayed home and, and stayed away from the disease. So they shouldn't be putting each other at risk, but they'll have their own entrance into the building, that back classroom, they'll have a live feed of the service, but they can still be a part of things if they want to come and gather and just not be exposed to the masses, if you will, of everybody else on a Sunday morning. And so we want to make that accommodation for those specific people. Um, one thing we will ask as we get close to that date is we'll, we'll ask if that is you, um, please let us know so we can know how many people to expect gathering in that room. So if we've got to create an overflow in the secondary room right there, we can figure out a way to do that. Um, 
So we're excited about uh, getting back together. It'll, it'll be here before we know it. Uh, the month of May is here. We're already two Sundays in. It's going to fly by. So Sunday, May 31st, we're going to meet outside. Um, bring your bag chairs. Pray. Pr- start praying with us right now. We have a beautiful day that day. And that society as a whole, our community, that the disease does not uh, spread um, like some are predicting it will and some are predicting it won't. And so who knows? That's why we got a little time here to see what happens. And then Sunday, June 7th, we'll be back in the building together. All right. So that's the plan as of right now. It could change, obviously, if, if, if things mandate that we alter that plan, we absolutely will. We won't hesitate. But we're praying that that's a good safe time for us to begin back together 